everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Lululemon Wonder Puffed Cropped Jacket. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you could stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this in the color Psychic, and I have this in a size 10, and it currently goes for $278. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys on this jacket is the logo. So coming over to the back here, we actually have the logo on the hood. And it is right here. Another spot is on the sleeve. It says Lululemon here. And finally, we have a little circle logo on the back. And it's also in that psychic color, so it's more of like a low-key camouflaged logo for those of you who like that type of thing. And this is the front of the jacket here. We do have a button closure. There's also a button on the collar right here. Coming over to the back, this is what it looks like here. And the hood is attached via buttons here, so you can remove it if you're not a hood fan. Now I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this jacket. So here it is on the inside. It's kind of made of that same fabric there. We don't have a different type of lining on the inside. On the inside, we do have pockets. So we have one right here. And then we have the exact same thing on the other side. Also find cinches. We got another on the other side if you're someone who likes to cinch in the waist. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. And all right guys, this is what it looks like on me. Once again, I am wearing this in a size 10. So the sleeves are just the perfect length for me, which I'm really happy about. Sometimes the sleeves are a little bit too long or too short, but these are just perfect for me. Under the sleeves, we do have this kind of liner here that keeps it chill out, which I like as well. They do not have thumb holes, just so you guys know. When it comes to my sizing recommendation, I would recommend to size down one or stay true to size. So for me, I size down one. My typical is a size 12 in Lululemon tops. When I tried on the size 12, I was kind of swimming in it. And personally, when I'm wearing puffer coats, I don't like them to look super duper huge marshmallowy. I like them to be a bit more fitted, so I did size down one. Even sizing down one, I have room to layer with light stuff like a defined jacket or some sifflies, just t-shirts, stuff like that, maybe even a light sweater. However, if you're someone who you really like the oversized fit, then I would definitely say stay true to size. And if you do want to layer a lot, like if you want to put some heavy knit sweaters and stuff, I would definitely recommend staying true to size there as well. Now I'm gonna go into the major highlights about this jacket. So it's great for casual wear, walks. It's excellent for fall wear and for winter. This is rated as a high warmth item from Lululemon. It has a 600 fill power goose down insulation. It is made of a soft to the touch water repellent fabric that can keep you dry in light rain and snow. It has a removable hood, a cinched hem. It has exterior pockets. It has cuffs to keep the cold out on your sleeves here. And it does have a relaxed cropped fit. Another thing I want to show you guys is that you can go ahead and cinch the waist if you're someone who likes cinched looks. So I, mean, I have it a little bit cinched right now, but I'm going to show you what it looks like uncinched and then just like super cinched. So we have our cinches at both sides right here. All right, so right now it is uncinched. And now I'm going to go ahead and cinch the waist on both sides. And this is what it looks like cinched. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better cinched or uncinched? If you are in Canada like me, it gets real cold here. If you are in somewhere else where it also gets really cold in the winter, for my recommendations for kind of temperatures wearing this, I would say that I would not wear this below negative 15 degrees Celsius. And for my American friends, I have the Fahrenheit on screen for you. So I would not wear it any colder than that. Um, of course, you can layer pretty aggressively underneath if you want to put on maybe like a heavy knit sweater or a hoodie like a scuba. You can definitely do that and stay warmer. But generally, I like to wear my jackets with like a t-shirt or a long sleeve. So if you are looking for like a winter jacket to wear in like the super cold Canadian winter days, I would definitely recommend looking at the Snow Warrior Parka. And I've done a full review on that. If you want some more information on that, you can find that at the top right or in the description below because that jacket is a lot better suited for Canadian and super cold winters wherever you are. So one thing I really like about this jacket is that it's super comfortable to wear. Right now I'm wearing it with a t-shirt and the fabric that we have on the inside is just super soft against my bare skin. Despite how kind of heavy it looks and puffy, it's really lightweight. So I really like that about it as well. Like this feels lighter than like throwing on a hoodie but it's a lot warmer. So I'm a super big fan of how they're able to get something so warm, so lightweight. 
Another thing about the Wonder Puff is it does have a nice big hood. And the hood is where we have our logo once again. And if you are someone who you don't like a hood, you can definitely go and remove it. There are buttons here. And this is what it looks like without a hood. One of my favorite things about winter jackets is that they hold just like a million things in the pockets. The pockets are usually massive. And here, well, that's a common trend. The, the pockets are very big. So I have my phone right here, Z Flip 4. I'm gonna put that in here in the little mesh phone pocket. Right here, you guys can see that. Another thing is I have a pair of sunglasses. I'm gonna put that in here as well. And not only that, we can fit a water bottle in here, guys. So if you wanna stay hydrated on the go, these pockets got you. Coming over to the inside, these are perfect for, I already put my sunglasses in here, but they're perfect for sunglasses. And also perfect if you wanna put some cards in here or a wallet if you're trying to keep it a bit more secure. I'm gonna do a little bit of a zipper demo for you. So, it zips up pretty easily. No hiccuping or catching at all. Not too bad, not great. Sometimes it does come undone on itself. And if you're someone you don't really wanna go through the hassle of the zipper and you're just throwing it on quickly to go grab the mail or something, you can just quickly use the buttons here to do up your coat. And my favorite thing about these buttons is that they actually work. And I am large busted and sometimes I do have issues with buttons not closing properly around my bust, but no issues here, the buttons are solid. And they come out easy as well. Here's a tag for anybody interested in this information. Now let's see, you know, if it's water repellent. Now the water is just beating up. It is not seeping into the fabric at all. The water resistant coating right now is so far so good. And I was just wearing this outside in the snow. I don't know where you guys are, but yeah, it's snowed for me so far. The snow just kind of beating up, rolling off my jacket, not going into here, keeping me nice and warm. So I am just really liking this a lot so far. And if you haven't tried the Wonder Puff already, definitely give it a shot. I'm gonna show you a bit of a comparison between the Lululemon Wonder Puff jacket cropped and the Lululemon Wonder Puff jacket. So this is the full length version and the cropped version. And I'm gonna try these both on side by side so you guys can see a real difference between the length. All right guys, so which one did you like the look of more? Definitely go ahead and comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. One noticeable difference I've noticed is that this one is a lot softer. So I don't know what they did with the fabric here, but this just feels like a lot more silky soft than this one. It could be because of the color option I have because this one is like a two-toned jacket. And if you do wanna learn more about the Wonder Puff jacket, the original, I have done a full review on this jacket, which you can find at the top right or in the description below when you're done watching this. All right guys, so when it does come to cons, there are a couple cons I've noticed. One, the price. It's definitely a high price for a puffer coat that is cropped in my opinion. So I definitely would have liked to see this a little bit cheaper. Another con I found about this and one that's quite annoying is the zipper sometimes randomly comes undone. As you guys can see at the bottom, it is zipped up, but the bottom part has come undone. So this has happened to me a handful of times so far and something that I do find quite annoying. It is a pretty quick fix. If I kind of just put it back in and zip it down, I'm able to zip it up again without any issues, but that's something I did want to definitely let you guys know. Another con I found about this makes a swish noise when you walk. Now, definitely not the biggest deal in the world, but it's something that I find quite annoying when it does come to my Wonder Puff jackets. And the final con, and the most important one for me, is that this is not easy to clean. Despite what Lululemon says in their washing instructions, not easy to clean. I've only hand washed this, guys, and I'd recommend if you are going to get this jacket to hand wash it. Um, when I have washed some of my Wonder Puff in the past and basically any down item from Lululemon, the feathers have gotten all clumpy and messed up and they've kind of ruined my jacket, so 
I'd say it's not easy to clean and I'll just hand wash areas where it gets a little bit sweaty, maybe like underarms or stuff like that. Yeah, I would not recommend throwing this in the washing machine. Definitely would not recommend throwing it in the dryer. So I would recommend hand washing this if you do have this jacket. So for me, that's a bit of a hassle. So definitely a con. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the functionality, the comfort, the fit, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 9.2 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in getting the Lululemon Wonder Puff jacket cropped, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.